Okay, so yeah, the pH paper, just to give an idea, why don't you go ahead, you guys have got paper, why don't I get you a piece of paper, and this would just be your initial test. I'll write down some, but uh, this will just be the first test. Now, for some of you, this might be a very accurate test if you didn't drink any water during the talk, um, and it is about two hours after when we ate, so this would be a pretty good test. But there's pH paper. Go ahead and tear some off. And if you guys need writing paper, usually I have tons of it on the table, but I forgot to put you out today. So write down. Go ahead and, and do the test uh, with the pH paper. We'll go through this a couple of different ways. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, okay, like it, it really will not be that beneficial for you if I just do everything. Okay, so uh, so you guys do the stuff. So take paper, go ahead and start. You know the number of yours. Uh, you can just go ahead and test that. Just a little. Oh, I would rip a little bit longer. Uh, you know, two inches is fine. That's yeah, that's more than suffice. You put the line the hand you the No, just just the saliva. Just uh, like that, you might be able to just put on your tongue and get the saliva number. That might be fine. It's cheap stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the little package, these cost about five bucks. The roll inside is about three and a half bucks. So don't be afraid to, you know, get a piece of... A bigger piece. Yeah. Okay. And you're saying you can do it just by sticking it on the tongue as opposed to under the oh, tongue. I was doing right here. Or spitting on yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Compare it, throw it away. Okay, take it's it right back out. Because it's like dark. Light. And from there, it's about an eight. Okay, so write down the eight. Should we do our saliva also? Yep. Yeah, uh, you can put it on the tongue. Don't put it on the tongue because it kind of came out spotted. So. Oh. Okay, when you put it on the tongue, <laughs> what you might be doing is taking some of the color off okay. with your tongue. And I don't know, is there a chemical in there that's not good for you? Yeah. you got to imagine, I mean, you're, you're turning a piece of paper from, you know, yellow to blue. You put it on the roof of your mouth, is that what you Well, you just you spit on it. Mm. But usually there's not a, a danger of chemical or anything, but still, I wouldn't put it in my mouth. I, I get some saliva on my tongue, and I spit on it and take it right off. I don't care too much. But see, one of the things is, is that sometimes you'll take it and you'll hold it on there for a couple of seconds and you'll take the color right off the paper. So you just want to dip it in and take it off. Same thing with the urine. You just want to dip it in and take it out. Let me, let me give you an idea. You just want to dip it in and take it right back out. Okay? It'll take the color right off. Oh, well, here, let's see. This one, okay, let's let's use this as an example. Is that a number two? A two? That, that looks to me about like a six eight. Let me check with the Insta. Okay. Well, about an eight. Doing that? Seven eight? Eight. Okay, so two, I, what did I just say it was? Six eight. Six eight. Uh, two was a six point eight. Now, with the. Uh, pH meter. I might need to change batteries in this guy. But I just take it. Are we about done? You guys can go ahead, but let's uh, let's wrap it up so we can move forward. I'm just trying to do a pH right now. Just do it. Well, we're gonna go through the test, but in order to move forward, we need to kind of get through it and get going. This is. I need to steal the water. Uh, is that salt meter or pH meter? This is a... Okay, that's the disc 4. Okay, we haven't got the salt yet, so just hold on. Okay. Yeah, 7.0. Should I check the sugar? Uh, just hold on. Okay. All right. Now, um, if you buy a basic urea kit, I, th I believe they still... Now, I bought... I've had these um, color indicators for 10 years. Um, I check them and it still works. They've never gone bad on me, but they're not even half gone. 
because I got the meter at the same time. And I, I will, like every session, when I start the session, I will do the first test and take two or three people and check with the chemical indicators as well. And that's one way of making sure my equipment is not like, you know, way off, okay? So that's real basic. Now what you're usually going to do with that, mm, <coughs> you'll get some spit because it takes more than... And uh, it's good if it sets for a second because I get all the bubbles out. Um, remind me, as soon as we're done, uh, we need to probably throw some of these in the in the wash because we're going to have a lot of tests to run. Um, when you buy the Glassware, if you're going to do this on a big basis, it's only like four bucks for a dozen. Buy a hundred of them, you know. Um, the pipettes, I forget. Do you know how much of I get here? This is um, 250 of the, of the, um, the culture tubes. Uh, I think it's like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. But if you buy them like in little, you know, packets of them, they're like 25 cents a piece. Steve, is there a, a time limit on how valid this would be? Like, it have, once you give this sample, it can't sit more than blah, blah. Maybe two know. hours at the most. I've done tests just to check, you know, five, six hours later. It really didn't change much, but they say two hours. Okay? Mm -hmm. You let something set, you know, for two, three days, your salt number is going to be a little high, and your ammonia number is going to be really high because it's going to rot, you know? Mm -hmm. um, okay. So what you're going to do, now, the, these are not ideal cups. These are not the cups I normally do, do the tests in. These are just ones I grab downstairs. You want to find a clear cup. Now, I found at um, Sam's Club or Costco. You guys have Costco up north? Sam's, Sam's Club, okay. Uh, they have uh, probably 12-ounce little cups that are almost crystal clear. Those are disposable. I use those, okay, because you get like 200 of them for 12 bucks and you just throw them away. Anyway, um... What you're going to do, okay, so this is not going to be totally accurate because I'm using somebody else's urine, but you're going to, I'm going to do it in the last row. Now you're going to just put a drop in each one. Does that make sense? That out. Four drops. Four drops. And then with the spit, I'm going to end up in there so it's all bubbled. Is there a significance of a lot of foam on top of the urine? Yeah, there is actually. Um, Dehydration? Something. No, uh, what is that? Do you remember what that is? I, just been, I haven't seen anybody with foamy urine in a while, but yeah, that means something. Um, I think it's something in the diet though. I thought somebody told me it was dehydration, this kind of dehydration. Well, I mean, the salt number is going to give you a good dehydration number. There we go. One sec. One drop of each. Now, let's see. Let's see what this says. I took it out of F. I'm going to put the meter in there first. And F is rating. You got to, if the batteries are real fresh, it actually takes a fairly quick reading. Uh, 7.9, very alkaline. 7.9. Put it in, I, I get two cups of water. You can do vinegar water, you know, and so on. You know, vinegar will sterilize. Really? Yeah. But I do two waters because uh, since we're doing multiple tests, you know, it gives me one wash and then another wash. Okay. So I set a 7.9 for F. Keep a tally of your guys' numbers because I'm not writing everyone's down. You know, just and that was P. That was pH, and so what I'm going to do, I forget if I have these in order or not. I think these are the cards. In one of the books, I have all the papers. Well, 
that's embarrassing because I don't have those out. Let's see. I had uh, I had them set in some because I remember moving them around. Are you recording right now? Oh, there they are, right out in the open. Are you recording? Well, that's embarrassing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to compare the color chart. Now, we had an indicator that that was a 7.9 anyway. So we really don't need to go through the trouble of the lower pH colors. But we will anyway, just, just for kicks and giggles, okay? So each one of the cards, now what happens is you're going to compare and you're going to do this in the process of comparison that you're going to get two colors that end up being the same. And that's going to tell you for sure that that pH is the same. So uh, higher numbers together, yeah. Phenol red, uh, blue, yeah. Okay, so we add one drop to each one. Saliva. Saliva and urine. You see that they changed color. Here, I'll, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll wash this out. This is the original color. It's kind of a orangish color. Next one. Slide is thicker in the end, so uh, the red. You're still working on pH. Yep. Okay. So in here, what we see is its original color, and then that it changes. See, like this green turned to blue, this red turned to kind of a hot pink, uh, this green turned to blue. And what will happen is it will go to the extreme. If it's a lower number, it will just go to the extreme of that number and then it won't make any sense. Now, we went through a process of elimination basically could figure out that it's going to be in one of these two because it was already high on the other chart. Now you go through with the color examples and see that this says, okay, you see this? This is probably about in 8, 8.2. Not quite that dark. It's somewhere right in there. Okay. Uh, on mine, it says it's a seven. Uh, I didn't do the other. And then this one maxes out at a seven six, so it's above a seven six. There's no duplicity on on this high of a range. Okay. But we know that it's uh, that's at a seven nine and eight, somewhere right there. Okay. Um, and then on the saliva number, the 6, 8. So there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. But that makes sense? Now, because of you know the different meters, you really don't need to do that. But I still do it just every now and then. You know, Like I've probably done the, the color meters maybe 20 times. And I've tested probably this year like a thousand different tests. But in general, the tape of the meter works? Yeah, um, I, I use the tape a lot, but the thing is with the tape is that it's not as accurate. I like the meter, and I, I just check with the tape when necessary. Like once I've done the initial test, I want to be as accurate on my initial test. My Wednesday test is not really a big deal. The last test that I do while people are here, I'm going to be as accurate as possible. So, you know, the ones in between I'm not really too concerned about because it's... I do it honestly more just because people want to know. 